Josh Ward of the Sports Animal joins us now. We're going to discuss some Tennessee players that could win some big time awards. First of all, Josh got a fantastic haircut. Thank you. Uh, while I still have it, I want to make sure it looks good. Yeah. Did you do something different? New person or something? No. Shout out to Sonia. She's been cutting my hair for a long time. Okay. So for the record, I'm very particular about who cuts my hair. There's probably only three people who've cut my hair more than three times in my life. Um, so once I'm, if I move, I find somebody new, but I'm very particular. Are you guys that way or are you just okay with just rolling in and whoever does it? So I've only had one other person cut my hair in the last, you know, probably close to 15 years. And that was when Sonia was away for maybe a couple of weeks and it was right in that time where I needed to get a haircut. So she had someone that she trusted cut my hair. So I haven't had anybody besides her in that time. Sonia doesn't need to be taking vacations. I'll go ahead and tell you that. Well, we've talked about that, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, and, and at that time there was no real camera opportunity for Josh. Now there's more pressure. So, yeah, that's absolutely uh, right. Yeah. So she stepped her game up, uh, just like you know, when game six would roll around for MJ, that's when you got him at his best. Same for Sonia. Yeah, absolutely. So do you, do you, and you should get a free hair cutter, too, for a shout-out on the air. So there you go. All right, so Josh Ward of the Sports Animal, noon to three each and every day. He is fantastic. Uh, we love having him on in his column on balls that could win. A big-time awards is uh, up or will be up shortly on offthehooksports.com. And, Josh, it is funny that, you know, had we had this conversation a year ago, and I'm going to stop doing this because the program has changed, but I'm going to do it one last time. If I would have mentioned Heisman, Remington, Blitnikoff, we would have all said that's crazy. Tennessee's nowhere close to that point. But after what we saw last year with uh, Jalen Hyatt winning the Blitnikoff and uh, with uh, Hendon Hooker being in contention for the Heisman, and I think would have gone to New York had it not been for the injury, uh, Tennessee's going to be in the conversation of these awards. I don't think there's any question. Yeah, I put Brew McCoy on the list with the Blitnikoff, and I put two guys on the list for two different reasons. Dante Thornton is the other. And with Brew, I mentioned in there, the projected number one, let's assume he is that for the conversation, the projected number one has to be in the conversation for the Blitnikoff Award every year with Josh Heupel as the head coach. It's easy to forget, but this time a year ago and through the first few weeks of the season, Cedric Tillman was on the radar for the Blitnikoff Award. Jalen Hyatt wasn't, but then Tillman suffered the injury and Hyatt blew up and took off and he ended up winning the award. That's why Dante was also on the list because he's the guy that right now doesn't really belong in the national discussion for the Bolitnikoff Award, but neither did Jalen 12 months ago. And then he ended up winning it. So in this offense, it's going to produce the results. And then the Remington top center in the country, Cooper Mays is terrific, and he's an important player on Tennessee's football team. He's one of the most important players. There's no question about that for Tennessee. So if the Vols continue to have success offensively and he continues to be at the center of that, well, then Cooper's going to get some attention as well. Josh, one of the ones you had on here that surprised me actually a little bit was you had Jalen Wright winning a Doak Walker. And I thought if there was a running back that was going to win a Doak Walker, would why would why not have Jabari Small or Dylan Sampson? Why have Wright? Well, it's going to be difficult for any of Tennessee's running backs because they're all going to factor into the offense. But what if injury occurs? Injury is what allowed Jalen Hyatt the opportunity to then take it and run with it to get the Bolitnikoff. Jabari Small's dealt with injuries the last couple of seasons. He's played through injuries, so he deserves a ton of credit. But he's more likely, I think, to have something happen that would limit his ability to put up the numbers. I don't think he's going to have the opportunity. Again, going in, I don't project that Jalen's going to have enough carries to get enough yards and enough touchdowns. But he did lead Tennessee in rushing last year. He did average six yards a carry, still put up 10 touchdowns. Small had the most at 13. But if Wright gets even more opportunity, I think the upside is a lot higher for him. The trust is probably still more with Wright as compared to somebody like Dylan Sampson, who also is an important piece of this backfield and this offense with his explosive ability. On our uh, radio show a few weeks ago, we were talking about who could explode onto the scene, and I said Dylan Sampson because of his home run ability. But 
at the running back spot where Tennessee is going to rely on this season. We talked so much about the passing game, and we should, but the running game is going to drive a lot of what this offense does. I think Jalen Wright is the best choice there. I'm shocked you had anybody winning the Thorpe Award on this list. I'm sorry. I just find that hilarious. How did you think somebody could win that award at Tennessee? (laughs) Well, uh, what did I write with it? Uh, Admission, this is a tough sell. So I was, (laughs) you know, I was, I was also trying to be transparent and audience honest with the audience as much as I could. Like um, Charles Campbell for the Lou Groza. Tennessee scores too many touchdowns for the place kicker to have much of an opportunity. But what if he had some game winning kicks? Uh, I love I love Slaughter. I love the way he plays. He I just, he, yeah, he loves to hit people. So if this Tennessee, the case that I made for Danico is that if Tennessee's defense is better, well then the secondary has to be better. And if the secondary is better, then I think Slaughter is an important part of that. And he has shown the ability to make big plays by delivering hits and picking off opposing passes. And if he's able to do that, if he's able to get a pick six or two and Tennessee's defense is better, and again, they rank high, team success is just a requirement for any of these awards that we're talking about, then maybe he gets himself into the conversation. But if you're looking for, if you find some wild Thorpe Award betting market, I I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily (laughs) spend too much time or put too much of an investment into Danico or any Tennessee defensive back. he, he, there is no Eric Berry on this football team, so it's going to be tough. But choosing a player and trying to diversify the different awards that at least could be on the radar, Danico is such an important player. He's a guy that has worked really hard and clearly improved, and I expect to improve even more this year. Yes, and if you do that, though, if you do place your Lou Groza or whatever Jim Thorpe award, do it at Zen Sports. <laughs> Download the app now. Uh, Zen Sports Gambling Drill there in uh, Tennessee and Cashback Rewards as well. Um, Josh, as, uh, use the promo code HOOKED, promo code HOOKED. And uh, Josh, what would be bigger for this program now that we're in kind of happy land? Um, because would it be Joe Milton <laughs> winning the Heisman or anybody winning the Jim Thorpe Award, which goes to the top defensive back? That's a, that is an interesting way of looking at it. Would you rather have the Heisman or the Thorpe Award? Because if you have a Thorpe Award winner, that likely means more, more toward the success route for Tennessee because you know Joe could be top five in the Heisman, and that means they're doing well. But if they have a Thorpe Award winner, I think it means you're undefeated. Better. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, <laughs> but couldn't there also couldn't? It also but also, if like- he's winning, but if he's winning the Heisman, then Tennessee's winning probably at least eleven games. I think there's a good chance of that. Are they going 10 and 2 and Joe wins the Heisman? Probably not. It's such a team award connected to the quarterback. So, despite the great great uh zag you're making to the conversation, I'm going to go back to the Heisman because you know what also Tennessee doesn't have a Heisman trophy winner. So, if the, I think they have a national championship shot and they have a Heisman winner to celebrate and more recruits that will come to the program. They they can recruit better with a Heisman winner than a Thorpe Award winner with all due respect to the award. Also, you could have a really, really bad secondary, and they just keep throwing one guy's way all the time, so he gets a lot of interceptions, <laughs> but he gives up lots of yards. 